Today marks the 78th anniversary of the Allied invasion of Europe, what we know as D-Day, the largest invasion in history that marked the beginning of the end of Nazi Germany in World War II. While we should take time to recognize those who fought and died overseas on this day, there was also a significant effort at home, manufacturing the supplies that would help win the war, including here in Memphis. Jackson Brown has the story of one Memphis woman's contributions. The Greatest Generation. We use that name to define those who fought and won World War II, both overseas and at home. Talking with 99-year-old Pauline Daniel, who left high school early to work at the Firestone Rubber and Tire Plant in Memphis to help the war effort, you begin to see why. When the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, that was the most horrifying. That was when I went to Firestone went from my little school in North Mississippi to I came to Memphis and I started to work. The equipment Pauline helped make played a vital role in the Allied landings in Normandy, what we now know as D-Day. On June 6, 1944, hundreds of thousands of American, Canadian, and British troops landed in German-occupied France, marking the beginning of the end of Hitler's so-called Fortress Europe, many of those soldiers paying the ultimate price. But we had boys killed at Normandy more than anybody ever thought was possible. It was a hard thing for people to understand. For the anniversary of D-Day, Shelby County Sheriff Floyd Bonner paid a visit to Pauline, presenting her an official proclamation in recognition of her work during the war, work that Pauline is proud of. I realized that I had helped. I didn't realize how much I had helped, but I did realize that I had helped. 78 years after the invasion that would ultimately lead to the end of Nazi Germany, Pauline looks back with pride for her part in the Allied victory. I was so proud to be an American. I was really proud to be an American. I went to Holland and my daughter and I went to Normandy and then the White Cliffs of Dover, and then I went into the country where Hitler came from, and I was glad that he was gone. 